Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here with what I'm hoping to be a relatively quick let's play. This is going to be Gone Home, a exploration uh, game type thingy. I actually don't remember much about this game. I bought it a few years ago, I think. Closer to a year, actually. And I tried to let's play it then, but my computer couldn't handle it. I'm hoping it can now. But with the fact that this is a pretty good computer. Anyhow, let's get started and find out what the hell's going on. Controls, blah blah blah. Loading. The Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. Gone. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Yes, so uh, apparently we're playing some kind of foreign exchange uh, student or... We were just on some trip in Europe and are coming home. That's what I'm getting out of that. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. So. We are inside a building. And it's raining outside. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Grab the Christmas duck. I think I'll put it back. Oh, a house key. Let's see. Catlin Greenbrier. Portland. Flight number 270, June 6, 1995. What's on there? So I'm just examining things right now. And from what I remember, this game's actually pretty short, so I'm going to try to finish it in one go. And there's a note on the door. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, mom and dad, crossed out. No. Oh, God. The weather's getting crazy in this game. Anyhow, like I was saying, we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried, I love you. Sam. I'm guessing that's our sister, maybe? Or brother, I guess. Sam is a pretty gender neutral game, after all. Okay, the lights are being a little creepy right now. Turn the lamp on. What's this? I can barely read this. Directions to work from... I don't know what that word says. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn, exit on 47 north, right on to 202 east, entrance on right past Wage Road. And something that's supposed to be a map. Travel time, 1 hour, 10 minutes, question mark, exclamation mark.
creeping me out, honestly. Run call. Let's see, open the folder. Read this invoice. Movers Inc. That sounds like a moving company. Let's see. <laughs> Terrence Greenbrier, 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County. I have no idea what OR stands for. I'm not very good at remembering the abbreviations for states. 97141. August 1st, 1994. Booking number 427. Let's see. Eight kitchen boxes. Eight master bed. Uh, sorry. Five master bed boxes. Six child bed boxes. Let's see. Ten overweight library boxes. Four office boxes. One 24 inch television box. One 14 inch television box. Continued on attached worksheets, subtotal $1,676. Packing, $1,676. Delivery, $912. Insurance, 2% to cover. Total loss, $162. Total, $2,750. Grand balance, $2,750. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Uh, where did we get that? I didn't pick up any journal. That is interesting. So our family moved into this house while we were away, and that's just some old thing sitting around, I guess. Read itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Okay. So we basically we're going to travel around. The and okay, that thunder's a little freaky, I have to admit, as I play horror games, not an insignificant amount of times. So I keep expecting something to be jumping out at me. Read the note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood, called. He wants to come see this new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Wow. Play the messages, I guess. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so I have no idea what those first two messages are. And honestly, that's a little freaky, but we recognize the last one. The one our main character left. So we can't make a phone call or anything. Okay. Going into the bathroom now. Turn on the lights. Paper. 
No need. I will examine the magazine, though. Okay. Nothing really special there. And I'll turn that lamp on. I'm not going through this door just yet. Because I would like to explore for a little bit. And they have a copy of the Bible, obviously. Christian family and all that, I guess. Don't expect religious commentary from me. Because you ain't getting it. Let's see. Oh. Old track trophy, apparently. Regional track and field finals, April 22nd, 1991. Girls long jump event, Caitlin Greenbrier, first place. Ah. Skull. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to hold it anymore. Another one of our trophies. Regional track and field finals, April 21st, 1990. Girls 100 meter relay. First place, Jamie Blum, Carla Jones, Shauna Rossi, Caitlin Greenbrier. So I guess our character is a bit of a sports person. Okay, and a birthday card. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. That's kind of nice, I have to admit. This is a closet. Not seeing anything in here. Really? Let's see if a few clothes and what's going Either our or our sister's high school uniform. Grab a board game. Okay, Over the Alps, a novel traveling game. For two to six players. Interesting. Yeah, looking around this place is really interesting, even if I am getting creeped the hell out by the lightning. That door is locked. So yes, this is very, very interesting. Sam, Katie, Mom and Dad. That's... This is really nice. I like how they put all this detail in, so that we can see what's going on everything. I like all the details that are here. One of the postcards we sent. From Paris. Hi Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating Please brace yourself for absolutely appalling French pronunciation, by the way. Le Petit Degenvenar. And wearing a barrette. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam. One Arbor Hill with weird put in front of it. Boone County OR 97141 USA. Put that back. Let's have a look here. School stuff. Welcome new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Once... I'm not going to read all of this. It doesn't really matter. Blah, 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 blah. I will leave this up so you can read this part if you want to pause or something. So I'll give it a few seconds. Okay, and if you want longer, you can pause. 
Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. Beth Valence, Principal. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Well, I guess this house has some kind of reputation or something. That makes sense, I suppose. Pack of cards. Grab photo. Picture of someone wearing a military type uniform. Probably us. Read obituary. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933 in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew Terence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. James Clark, 31, of Boone... something about a newspaper, I guess. Wow. Greenbrier. So this guy is a relative of ours. Neat. Very neat. Lights because being in the dark scares me. Yeah, in any game I've played, I really do not want to be in the dark because it's almost always an indication of bad things. Okay, electrical inspection form. I am not going to read all of this. You can read it yourself if you want. Pause that case because I'm not going to pause for you. Yada yada yada. God damn it, that lightning is freaky. Examine that paper. CD player, yada yada yada. And I am not going to read this marketing spiel. Sorry. But I'm not. I'm just not. Let's see. This is extremely random stuff, and I'm not going to try it. That needs a, com a combination block. That I don't know a combo for. Tell us about their worst moments. 
Does anybody still care? The male gaze, how to subvert it. Sarah Holst, not gathering moss. Don't know what any of that's about, and to be perfectly honest, I don't really care. second book. The Accidental Pariah, Terence L. Greenbrier. Wow. I'll leave that open so I don't randomly check in there again or something. Read notes. So, this is just his notes for that book, I guess. So I guess our dad was a writer. Open folder, read letter. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit, it's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the useful topic without heavy rewrites. Sorry, I'll repeat myself. I think the thunder went over my voice. From the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of home theater aficionados want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. So I, Dad did some editing work and started rambling a bunch during it, and people were complaining. And let me see, there's a number here. 0451. I'll try it on that cabinet, I think. Let's see, zero, four, five, one. And there we go. Read document. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kubelik and Wise, Attorneys at Law. And it's a will and testament. But since this is to do with this Oscar Mason guy who's like, I don't know, our grandfather or something, I am going to read the full thing, so brace yourselves. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Oh, wow. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors, living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounts, to my nephew Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. So he's like our great uncle, I guess. In the event that said Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, 
then and in such event the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate i subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of august 1973 signed oscar mason and it's basically that except in cursive, which I cannot read, so I will not attempt to. Just coupons and junk. Examine the pamphlet. Some arc. Some forestry stuff or something. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Okay. My game is being ever so slightly weird and recording at a fraction of the FPS that I'm getting in the actual game. So I'm going to exit and come back in. See you in a second.